In this video, I want to show you how to record audio and MIDI sources simultaneously using GarageBand, and this is version 10.1.3. I want to be as brief and concise as I can. Right-click on any one of these tracks to reveal track header components. Go over to Show, Record, Enable, click that, and all the ARM recording buttons show up. That's what these are. So you can click on this. It'll be highlighted red, uh, and that means that it's ARM for recording. Now, this is my virtual instrument that is hooked up to my keyboard. I only have one MIDI source, but I also have two audio sources. So I'm going to click on one of those audio tracks, and as soon as I clicked off of my virtual instrument, you see that it's not lit up anymore, and it will not record. It is not armed anymore. So my first thought was, okay, GarageBand offered multi-track recording, and it doesn't work. So I clicked back down on my virtual instrument, and I clicked it again just to make sure, and I click back up on my audio track and it goes off again. So there is a limit to what you can do uh, as far as multi-track recording. I'm going to arm my audio source. I'm going to click off of that. And look, it's still let up. I'm going to click another audio track. And it is armed for recording. And that's the max I can do because I only have two XLR inputs. Now I'm going to click off of that and go back to my virtual instrument. I'm going to arm it. And what do you know? It's staying lit up. So the limit is you cannot click off of a virtual instrument track when you're wanting to multi-track record. Um, you can click off of audio sources. That one little detail hopefully will save you a lot of research time and cut your recording time in half. Uh, just to demonstrate, I want to make sure you see that it actually works. You can see that the audio is now recording. And here I'm going to hit my keyboard. You see the MIDI notes showing up.